part of a, a video coming up is working on a, a Massey Ferguson FE35 diesel cylinder head. Now, unbeknown to a lot of people, you can see there's a tube in the head. There's two of them. And if you've done an engine up, done your cylinder head up, and you don't know about um, these two these tubes, you can see you can see how crusty this one got. And what can happen is when your engine gets hot, you can the, the head gasket will seal down the bottom end here. Your coolant is around the centre section here, and it's just you know to, to fill the gap between the two castings. And up the top here, you have a, a, a head stud going through there with a nut and a flat washer. And these can rust through and actually leak out the top. Now you don't get a lot of water or coolant loss, but um, of and look in all the years it doesn't happen much. In all the years I've known of two cases of these rusting through. And um, um, Jonathan here over in um, um, Northern Ireland, he's had one, and I believe I have one in the shed, an old tractor I bought. That they've done the engine up, they've replaced the head gasket three times, got the shits and sold it to me. So I believe this is probably the problem. So why are we here? <laughs> um, I have some marine grade 316 stainless. And I started turning it down and I thought, oh shit, I should get the camera going. should be filming this. So I'm going to make this out of stainless. I hope it doesn't go too hard on me. And I thought of making it in out of brass, which would have been a, not a bad option, but you can see the edge where it, where it pikes into the head, it comes in from the, the combustion chamber side as this side, it pushes in, then I thought well if I make it out of brass and they're using this to support the two castings to hold it together, I'm probably better to make it out of stainless. Well, look, mild steel would have been an option, but I had stainless and I thought well if you're tensioning a bolt down up the other end here, it's probably a good thing to look, make it out of stainless or mild steel. So I thought, bugger it, I'll try and make it out of stainless if I can. Now, stainless is this stuff, <laughs> it's good stuff. It's 316, it's marine grade, it's very hard, but the thing with it is, if you get it too hot, it goes bloody hard. And I'm not sure my little lathe would handle it, so... I'm going to have a go at making one on here. Um, I've got carbide, carbide tooling. Now I've got to drill a half inch hole up the middle there. I've got cobalt drills. So I don't know. I'm just going to see <laughs> see how we go, eh? And um, I'll I'll just try and sneak away at it a little bit. Um, look, I think probably fairly light cuts. I'll see what sort of finish I get with light cuts. If it doesn't finish too well there, well, I might have to pop it in a bit deeper. So we'll see how we go, eh? we're going for is 0.657 so it's a bloody odd size so what are we doing there now we're at 675 80 
684. So I've got 683 and a quarter. to 684. So because I've got the end sticking out and it's hard material I'm getting a little bit of flex there. So 0.684, I'll just set the DRO. And when we get close to the um, even say 660, 660 thou I might start doing really light cuts and see if I can get that three quarters of a thou or half a thou, whatever it is, taper out of it. Okay, let's see. Get rid of the junk. Now. I just need to measure both with the same micrometer. So 0.658. Actually, I'll measure it on a couple of planes here too, I think. Looks like about 658. 658. Another 658. Okay, so what do we have? 660, we're 2000 over there. About two thou. We're two thou too big. Okay, we should be able to work with that. So if we bring him in to point six. I'm just going to do a spring pass at 0.658 on the DRO, and it's reading about a thousand big. Now.
Now I know in the past I've tried to just polish a half a thou off and sometimes it takes forever. So I'm not highly excited about that idea, but anyway, I had to polish it anyway. Yeah, 0.875. Yeah, I think that's 658 and a half there. Yeah, there's still a slight variance. Just we went from being too big here because of the flex to being a little bigger here now. So, so we've changed a little bit, but anyway, look, let's just go with what we have. Now the pipe had a little radius on it, so we'll just put a little chamfer there. Same as on that end there. So now we have to drill a half inch hole straight up the guts here. So we'll probably do that in a couple of goes. Um, we'll start off small and sneak him up nice and steady. Now I am still about half a thou too big here, but the temperature's pretty good there now. Look, I can hang on to that. I'm not worried about it going hard. But what I don't know is that when I drill the guts out here whether that will change this at all. So being about, oh look, it's half a thou, three quarters of a thou on the big side at the moment. Um, and by taking the guts out here and making it into a piece of tube, well, I don't know what effect that's going to have on it. So anyway, we'll know shortly. Okay, as usual, We'll start with the centre and we'll go from there. Start off with a smaller drill and we'll go hard on me. We might knock a bit of speed out of it too, I think.
Okay. So what was I running that at? Low 3, which is 240 RPM. I can't touch that just at the moment. But that's okay. Now, let's just measure it while it's hot and see what difference it made. Look, just, just for interest's sake. Oh, about six, five, nine and a quarter. Six, five, nine and a half. Six, five, nine and a bit. Yeah, very little difference. Okay, no rush. Um, I'll go and get the other drill set up and we'll let this cool down for a little bit. We're in no hurry. I'd rather take my time and not harden it up. And I did that one time and man, <laughs> I was doing a water pump impeller and I, I couldn't put a cutter near it after that. Okay, I've got the half inch drill. Now, this isn't a particularly good brand half inch drill. It's a cheaper one I had, but not a bad edge on it. Now, I tried a 13mm drill up the tube and it, it was oversized, it wouldn't fit, yet a half inch one fitted. So I'm going to put the half inch one up and presume it's going to run out a little. Now it's only got to have room for a 7 16th head stud to go through it. So the finish isn't important and um, if we're a little bit over or undersized it's not important either. So we'll just um, see how we go and see what we can come up with. Try and pick up that bottom edge again at the taper. Out there. So what do we have? Two inches. And when I find what I did with the pipe, there we go. So we have enough for a parting off there, no worries at all. Things you pick up over the time now, I've, I've picked up a lot from Mr. Pete and Joe Pye and all that because I'm a diesel fitter, not a buddy fitter and turn his elbow, but buddy. I picked this up from Joe Pye. Once again, a couple of thou here is not going to matter on this pipe, but. There we go, that's our zero. And on our pipe, on our old pipe here, just make sure we're on zero, yep. So we're looking for 1.88, actually 1.875. So, if we wind him up, 1.875 This little pipe here should just fit nicely there Oh look at that, beautiful I'll just support it up this end Actually, I won't do it like that. I think it'll be that thin I can pop it through here. I'll put a bit of lube on him. I can 
actually even touch that. But not for long. Okay. Now to get that burr off, we'll just Grabbing with the pliers, and that's that one gone. I might hold this in the soft jaws for the vice later and see. So the other thing I'd just like to check, and it's, I think it should be right. So we've got 0.5 we're half with how big in the bore, that's just lovely. We're happy with that. Yep, yeah, there we go. We've even got a parallel hole. How do we do it for the money? Okay, I'll tidy that up and then we'll give you a look. Okay, now that's it. This here is a stainless steel one of those. So I'm sure it'll go in okay. But I have one more to do. I've, there's two per head, and before I do the video for the 23C cylinder head, I had better make myself another one. And look, that'll outlast me. And I'm feeling well. <laughs> so there you go. That should slide in the head nicely. So um, we're within a. Oh, we're actually bang on this we're bang on we wouldn't be even half a thou so probably if I um, chuck this in the fridge in the freezer and popped a bit of Loctite down the holes and just went boom boom I probably should make a little stepped punch just to pop him in and um, yeah as this this sits below the head probably oh probably a couple of millimeters one or two millimeters so I probably should make myself a little punch that'll be just smaller than this outside by say five thou and we'll sit down in here so when I go to put it in I can just pop him in quickly and away we go so there you go that's just a bit of machine